Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1987. I have a huge amount of nostalgia for this game. I saw it in that arcade in Westford Hill. I always drove about. And then I saw it up the road in another arcade where it had this weird blue shoe effect going on on the screen. And it wasn't made by Sega. It was made by Asthma or something? Not Asthma. Asthma. Um, it was Hooky, basically. And yeah, I, uh, I just, I loved it. I still always remember it had a massive, massive crowd playing it. It's one of the most, you know, uh, well-remembered, well-loved and well-revered, you know, Sega arcade games. It's got that two-tier up-and-down system. You fire Shuriken, you've got uh, magic, you've got bonus levels like this. It looks great and it has some of the best music of the 80s arcades. Now, let's get into it. I suck at this. I absolutely suck at it. But that doesn't stop me from absolutely loving this game. Right. Money, money, money. Even that screen is iconic to me. 1987. Wow. I mean, my brain still thinks this is impressive. Right, let's go. Mission one. Oh, yes. Yeah, speech arcade. Right, so... Bottom left, right, because you are Joe Mushashi, the Shinobi, or otherwise known as a ninja. You got up, uh, you got jump, and then up and jump makes you go up and goes down. Bottom left is the number of kids, because basically this terrorist organization bottom right, by the way, is that little bloke with the sword is my magic, and that's the time limit. Listen to that music. I just could never get my head around just how you could just throw death in the arcade. There was nothing quite like this. Oh, look, there's a cheat you can do. But anyway, yeah, sorry, there's a kid. Go down. Oh, fuck. He shot me in the foot. That really hurt. How oh, you shot me, you a-hole. Points for the quote. Anyway, yeah, so you're Joe Mushashi. I struggle to pronounce that, the shinobi. And you you run a ninja school, and then this evil terrorist organization steals your entire class. Can't be a very good ninja or shinobi. More like a shinob. Yeah, thanks, I'm here all week. Right, anyway. It's the noise. Just little touches. I, I'm just so nostalgic out of this. Lovely parallax. That shuriken noise. You throw them in bursts of four. Which for some of the bosses, I'm looking at the statues, you will need to know. You've got duck. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah. You got you got to use the cover and it's a it's a timing thing. I'll get there in a minute. Right, but yeah, I mean I had it on the master system back in the day and really, really liked it, but even I knew it was not a patch on the arcade machine, and I never played it back in the day on the PC engine but did see it in magazines. I'll save the PC engines. Oh yeah, you got this! Look! I love it! Rocket! Grenade gun! And I'm a ninja! Yeah, I'll save those stories for, you know, the PC engine part of this gameplay. But, I did drool over it, I'll say that. I think it got 88% and they said those words we dare not say its name! Okay, perfect. Right, this is great because he can block your shuriken, but this just overpowers him because it's bloody rocket! Up there, get the kid. <clears throat> now, timing. I like the fact. Not very well equipped or armed terrorist organization, are they? Right, it's a timing thing. Which I ball star. I like the way he fires those <laughs> who are armed fire darts. I can't do fuck. Cool. Right, go. 
There we go, in the face. Now, I don't have to worry about him chucking his sword because I'm going to overpower him. Because I'm a sexy ninja. Right, go to the next stage. You will see the boss. See, look, you can get out of jail quickly doing that. And if you jump on them, you bounce off. It doesn't kill you. Yeah, you will see the boss. He... Oh, bollocks. That's my magic. Yep. I'm the multiple man. You can't kill him. He'll still fire his fiery bargles, ain't you? Yeah, that was all quick. Not gonna lie. It's little things like that. It, it, it's little things like the post. Oh shit! I slipped off my D pad. Woo! Can I smell burning hair? Yeah, it's little touches like the posters in the background, which we'll see now. Oh, you got your stage map with the, the holes punched in the left. There you go. See Marilyn Monroe. Copyright? What's copyright? Oh, copyright. Yeah, because um. There's a whole history of Sega. Sega. That's how Sean Connery says it, didn't you know? Sega flouting copyright, isn't it? Particularly Super Shinobi on the, you know, on the Mega Drive. The Japanese one really flouts it. It's got Rambo. See, Spider-Man, kinda. It's got Rambo, uh, Terminator, Spider-Man, and Batman in it. Oh, and Godzilla. They did a deal eventually, so it could be Spider-Man in the West, but no one else. They had to change the spikes, the sprites. And then I'm really struggling to talk today. Listen to the music. And even behind the walls, a little bit parallax there, because it's sexy. Yeah, even when they re-released it on Virtual Console or something, they had to get rid of Spider-Man in its entirety, didn't they? It's a shame. Although I never felt comfortable with Spider-Man being a boss, being a big Spider-Man fan, because it's like, well, hang on a minute, is Spider-Man a terrorist? What's going on? Hey, saucy. It's so smooth. That's, see, that's what's great about this game. Fire at me, run away. It's just how silky smooth the controls are. You can have a great game sonically and graphically, but if your controls aren't tight, it's ass. Right. Because I also, as a kid, couldn't get over. I mean, he's awesomely dressed. In fact, I'm a ninja, but I don't cover my face. Doing every other game in the series. Obviously, Shadow Dance would be the sequel. Oh, I forgot. Shit. Um, if you're going, you've got to hit me in the head. I suck at this. There's its health. You're going to put me... Oh, no. Shit. But that gets you out of jail if he's about to shoot you. So it's... I forgot what buttons it is. It's what it is. All right, it comes down. Hey, in your face. I think it's probably this easier. One. Hey. Welcome to boss oh, the bonus stage, you get extra life. Ninja's jumping across two tiers. This isn't on the PC Enter version, so I can say that in this gameplay. But it is on the Master System version for some reason. Oh! Shizen. It's so hard. I can do it on the Master System version, but I cannot Mission two. on this version. It's on the NES version as well. The NES is an appalling port. Anyway, second level. But we're going to jump onto the PC Engine version, because this level isn't in it. But as you've seen from this... Wow, haircut 100. Ooh! As you've seen from this uh, comparison video series, that the PC Engine with cue cards was very limited in storage space. Although apparently they fixed that in the States. Anyway, to the PC Engine version. Spinning Batman sign. Okay, so welcome to Shinobi on the PC Engine. It was released by, is it Asmic? I think that's how you pronounce it. In 1989. Now, obviously they went with the green screen there. I'm really not sure, but it looks like the arcade. Now, this is another example of a game which, if you played it before the arcade, knowing what it looked like in the magazines, you would have thought it was arcade perfect. I remember seeing stills of it in Mean Machines, which was obviously the, the, the Mean Machines Complete Guide to Console Books. Who remembers those? those a yellow one, a red one, and a blue one. The blue one was crap. And yeah, that was when I first became aware of the PC Engine. And um, it showed you screenshots of this, and they, they gave it like 88% and said, it's arcade perfect, it's arcade perfect, as we know when they chuck around that phrase. It is not, and not just because it's missing out, uh, I think it's only one level, the level two, but compared to all the other versions, and yeah, I'm looking at the Amiga and the Atari ST, but you know, certainly not really going to mention Master System. But, you know, um, 
nares because they didn't stand a chance. But obviously the PC ended up a lot more grunt. But and I'm not slagging off the Amiga Notorious T because obviously the consoles came out as my mate Trust Left pointed out a bit later. Well, more so the Mega Drive than the PC Engine. But this is the most sort of reminiscent of the arcade. Now, playing directly after the arcade like I've done, you'll probably think, no, it's not. But look at the sprite. You know, it, to the untrained eye, to me, at least it looks like the arcade version. It's lacking the parallax, but hey, what are you going to do? But the point I want to make is all the sprites in this look fantastic. They look truly decent representations, there's the phrase I'm looking for, of their arcade counterparts. Look, the demo on the PC Engine has already showed you far more than you'll ever get to see in this game. Chances are if you own it as well. And I do actually own the Japanese version of this. Right, let's go. Okay, so, right, uh, there we go. Mission 1, no speech. Obviously, the, the PC Engine is going to take a hit in the colours and the sound, although the tune is amazing. you got your clip punch file thing telling the boss can oh look at that I walk in front of my hostages heads I never noticed that jump jumping up yeah lack of parallax who cares you, this is it where it pisses all over other home ports is you actually do your shuriken in four bursts short control bursts although I got magic shurikens I never run out Right, there you go, hostages. Look how the hostages look. So anyway, you score top left, number of lives top left, your magic bottom right. I'm not sure how you do your magic, actually. I can't remember. It always takes me ages to remember on the PC engine. Listen to the music. Uh... So we've only got to save three of these people. That's that less. Can't remember. Look at them. Shit. Look at them. I mean, look at it, Marge. Look at it. Points for the quote. But yeah, all, see, all the bad guys look. Just like the arcade. Even the gun blokes. It certainly scrolls quickly. Nice animation on Shinobi. Right. There we go. This is, I love the noise. The shuriken's not quite a sexy noise, but the, the choppy hitting them with shuriken noise is epic. Oh, if you get really close, you'll kick them as well. Or pull out sword. Hey! Ladies love it when he does that. So he does like a really close melee attack. You've got to watch him when you come off the platforms, because that's what they get you. Come on! See? Oh no, I just punched him in the nuts with a shuriken. Oh well. He's probably didn't want kids anyway. Hey, if maybe you could have them. That's why he stole my students. Does he appear here? Yeah, he does. Look, so you can do this cheat where you jump on them and it pushes them back, but it doesn't take your health. Fire, obviously he's a lot smaller and the fireball is different, but as I said, compare it to other versions. This this is just this is delightful. I am aware that most of the gameplays so far in this playlist are on the Mega Drive or PC engine, but that is, there you go, Marilyn Monroe, that is a testament to how good these systems were. More so the PC engine, because yes, I know it had a 16-bit GPU, but had an 8-bit CPU, which obviously was the one from the NES. Not like they literally stole it from the NES, but the same one. Look, you got your darts again. Right, how do I... Oh, you press run! Oh, that's the other one, lightning. That was a waste. Ooh! i tell you what, Ken... Oh! Not to be confused with Lion. Oh! Oh, he kicked me in the face! He's so hard on this one compared to the arcade. In fact, the Master System one's probably the hardest. Hey, look at him! He's gonna have to reload. Stupidly, he gets up to reload when he's firing when he's ducked. Fail! Listen to the music! Listen to it! Controls are so tight. Easy as good as the arcade. Oh, I'm going to have to make this my ringtone now. No, oh, this one's a bit. Hey! I was going to say a bit tricky. That wasn't. Right, so Ken. Oh, oh Spider Man 2. There we go. Right. Well, are they shorter than the arcades? Possibly. Right. <clears throat> Run magic. You can kind of get into a groove. Ow, straight in the face! That 
that saves me. Right, four, three. Ooh! Balls! See, it's doable. It tempts you, it tempts you. It flicks you in the nut with a wet towel, though, if you get too cocky. you got to get one in or two in first. Oh, that was on the money! Oh shit, duck, jump, duck. That's it. Ready? You're not going to give me any continues? It's not going to give me any continues. Oh, yes, it is. Alright, here we go. Fuck, and I got one in as well. Right, we'll try that again. Right, jump. Does that count? That should count. Oh, that was on the money. Mm. Does he move in the arcade? I can't remember. Right, hang on. Right, do this. Possibly not. Oh, that was the fucking money shot. Oh, I can't remember which way to dodge him. I'm appalling at this. Never said I wasn't. Ooh! This is why I didn't have flatulence then, eh? See what I did there? Right, well there you go. Shinobi Home. I'm sucky at this. Shinobi Arcade versus Shinobi on the PC Engine. Easily the best home port. Obviously, colour. Uh, sound takes a hit, you're missing level 2, but, and, you know, parallax, but, to the untrained eye, you know, the sheer size of the sprites, the number of sprites on screen, the fact that you throw shurikens and four bursts, which no other versions do, this is easily the best home port of Shinobi. If you love this in the arcade, you must love it's iconic, or you had it on the PC engine, I would love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.